We continue putting a wrap on all 17 sports here at the University of Colorado as we wrap up 2017. I'm Boyce of the Boss, Mark Johnson, wrapping up men's basketball right now with the Tad Boyle. I know you're in the middle of it right now, and it's tough to look back. You probably hit the erase button there, but you glance back to 2017. What was kind of the postscript you put on that season? Well, a lot of things. You know, we didn't go off to a very good start. We've yeah. lost our first seven league games, you know, uh, coming into 2017, which you don't like doing, but some really close ones. Uh, but we finished strong. We finished 8-3 and three in, le- in uh, conference play. So uh, kind of an up and down uh, season there, and then and then obviously this season got off to a great start, six and zero. We've had a couple of bumps in the road here since then. So um, you know, again, when you watch the Colorado basketball team, you're going to see some ups, you're going to see some downs. I just want to see the trend line going up, and and with the players that we have in the program. Uh, the youth we have, the quality talent, uh, kids we got sitting out, uh, the trend line for this program is definitely up. You know, I think it's a lot of times easier to appreciate something when it's gone. I'm referring to Derek White a year ago. Here's a guy you had in your program for two years. Sits out the one year as a transfer coming up from Colorado Springs and put together one of the great seasons in Colorado history. Yes, he did. I mean, he was uh, he was terrific and did, did so many things to help us win games. That's the thing I'll remember about Derek is it wasn't just his scoring ability, but his passing ability abilities, his uh, defensive abilities, block shots. I mean, he did so many things to help our team win games, and he was one of those guys that uh, was a team guy. And uh, we're gonna, we already do miss Derek White. Uh, the only disappointment I have about Derek is only getting to coach him for one year. So uh, we wish him well. He's doing great with the Spurs, and he's going to have a great NBA career. Do you sometimes use him as a example of persistence and stick to itiveness because of where he came from and what he ended up being? Absolutely. Absolutely. And Derek White is a guy that, uh, you know, you can look to in a lot of different areas. And our players have great respect for him. And, uh, you know, it, nothing was given to Derek. Derek earned everything he got uh, coming up through the ranks, high school, Division two, and then on to Division one here and uh, had, a, had a great year. And you talk about this team this season. It's tough to look too far ahead. But where they're at, what you have in this team, there's a lot of potential in this group you're coaching right now. A lot of potential. And that's why we just are looking for improvement improvement on a day-to-day, week-to-week, month-to-month basis. And uh, again, we've got some great seniors, but we the, 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 the bulk of this team is young talent that's just going to get better and better, and we need to keep adding to that. Well, the Colorado Buffaloes mid-season right now is the calendar flips from 2017 to 2018, but we're putting a wrap on the 17 sports here at the University of Colorado.